I'm making chicken quesadillas, so I thought I'd film it. I'm still having a hard time vlogging, like, so I can do little recipes like this. Uh, I, we're gonna need a rotisserie chicken that I, like, this killed me to debone this chicken without anybody barking at me. Do you know what I mean? It just hurt my heart. So, I'm just doing little recipes and grocery hauls, but I'll be back. Give me a week or so to do good vlogs. So I've got a whole onion here and then I'm going to toast. I'm going to, yeah, that's our fridge. I'm going to saute it up in my cast iron. I'm going to add some spices. Okay, I'm going to add salt and pepper. Ah, you know what we forgot, hon, at Costco is the pepper, the uh, oh. peppercorns. Yeah, well, we need to pepper count. Can you hand this to me? Can I get up yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, never mind. A little bit of onion powder. Oh, what am I thinking? That's onions already. That's okay. I'm not thinking half the time. Some garlic plus. I'm just gonna saute these onions up. Bruce is getting some panels, floor panels down. He's gonna replace the uh, the quick flooring where my office chair is. It's tore up. The old sheen kept it from years and years ago. Yeah, um... I forget what I was going to say. Yeah, that's almost done. Now we're going to shred some cheese. I just like to use my little grater when I don't need a lot of cheese. We're getting a winter storm today. It's Friday. And, uh... A polar cold front coming in. So Bruce put plastic around the other part of Jetro's um, Jetro's uh, cage and then he put more straw in there and then he put more straw in the in the coop and uh, he put the heat light in and on for them and they're all set to brave the cold. Yeah, they both have a, like a heater pad in there too. Jetro has one in his cubby hole there. Okay, I think this should be more than, oh yeah, this is more than enough. I didn't know if it would be enough cheese, but it is. Now I'm going to take some of the chicken. Let's see how many tortillas I have. One, two, yeah, I have enough for two. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this chicken and I'm going to cut it up. That should be enough. Cut it up. Don't shred it. Cut it in pieces. Throw it in our cast iron pan. And we're just going to warm it up with a little bit of barbecue sauce. you're asking about Sandy she's been pretty much doesn't know what ha what's going on like she, 
I don't know how to explain it, but she's going to be okay. We're going to take her with us wherever we go because she's really good in the car and we don't want to leave her home by herself. Well, the end's here, but yeah, she's she just had some chicken. She was a little traumatized of when we come home without Coco. She didn't really understand it. But, yeah, these darn animals break our hearts, don't they? Yeah, not break our hearts. They don't break our hearts. They hurt. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm lost for my words. They don't break our hearts. They, they just love us no matter what. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to throw it in the cast iron. Okay, here's all my chicken and my cast iron. And I'm just going to... Uh, you can use any barbecue sauce you want. I'm going to use... Uh, I have this barbecue sauce. Red Hot Thick Franks. It's a barbecue sauce. I got it at No Frills before. And... Uh, I'm going to use this, but you can use Sweet Baby Ray. You can use Honey Garlic. You can use any kind of uh, barbecue sauce you want. So I'm just going to warm it up and get the barbecue sauce into the chicken. This is what really oh, brings out the flavor in your quesadilla. Still use more, probably the whole bottle. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't need the whole bottle, but why not? This is a nice barbecue sauce. I didn't know uh, Frank's red hot. Red hot sauce, me barbecue sauce until I seen it at No Frills. Okay, just warm it up. You don't have to really heat it, overheat it. Just warm it up. Now you can do you can now you can do your chicken uh, fajitas. You could case it. What do you call this? Chicken. Fajitas, yeah, you can do them this way, or you can do them this way, and then on top. Quesadillas, chicken quesadillas. I always get that mixed up. Yeah. So, let me get the chicken, and we'll start with the chicken. Or actually, no, we're going to start with cheese. This is what holds it together, my friends. Cheese. And I like the orange cheese. I have that white cheddar in there that I got. I don't, it tastes like rubber to me. I like a good orange cheese. Not the, not the stuff I got from Costco. No, I haven't tried that yet that new cheese but this is the white old cheese I got it at I don't know Walmart I can't wait to taste that other cheese okay now I'm gonna put some onion on the bottom too if you don't like onion then don't put the onion we love onion
Well, Nate doesn't. <laughs> Nate doesn't like these. He'll he'll cook himself something. Then we're gonna put the barbecue chicken on top. I can freeze the leftovers for another day when I want to make another uh, barbecue chicken quesadilla. Or you can put it on salad, whatever you want. Or you can make it, I could add cream cheese tomorrow and make it like a buffalo ranch with, uh, add some cream cheese and ranch dressing and make it a buffalo ranch dip for chips. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm putting more onion on top. What? Okay. And more cheese on top of that. That's a piece of bone, <laughs> Bruce would say. You're trying to kill me? How did that get in? Oh, that, that's an onion. That's an onion, you guys. It's not a bone. <laughs> I better check that. <laughs> that's an onion. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get my pan heated up. We're going to get these frying up. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. Keep it out for the other one too. Spread it around. Let that heat up for a minute. Okay. First one. Going in. Do it as much as dark as you like. Or if you like it light, just do it light. It's your decision. It's a little trickier flipping it over when it's big like this, but it's easier to flip it when you fold it in half, but I like them this way. And I like them the other way too, but tonight I want to do them this way. Okay, we're going to flip the silver. Perfect. That's the color I like. Okay, that's the last one, the second one. And I put a few french fries in the oven. So I take my pizza cutter. Uh, 
and I just slice them in four. If you don't like the hot, then do the sweeter barbecue sauce. I like the sweet barbecue sauce too. I just wanted to use up that barbecue sauce I had in the fridge. I had it forever. That's like restaurant style. I'm going to use the baskets tonight. Nate has leftover KFC in the fridge that he can heat up. We had that yesterday when we were out at Costco in the dentist. We got stopped and got KFC for dinner. They have a special two for, uh, two can eat for $10.99, I think it is. You get four chicken, pieces of chicken. You get popcorn chicken and you get two, yeah, you get four pieces of chicken, uh, pop, two popcorn chicken orders and two fries for ten ninety nine, And then, uh, and then we got each a wrap, uh, which to me, it looked so good in the ad, but it was like, uh. You just put a chicken finger in a, a tortilla wrap. Like, yeah. I don't know if I want all of this. Let's start with two. Or maybe I'll do three. I'll do three. Save this for tomorrow for lunch. I'm going to fill up two uh, containers with sour cream to put on top and I got french fries cooking in the oven and then we're gonna have uh, for dessert air fryer uh, donuts or cinnamon rolls yeah be done now. Okay, I put these in here. I'm just waiting for the french fries. Oh, I forgot ketchup. I got to eat ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will show you the baskets. And then we are going to go eat. There we go. Chicken quesadilla takeout Friday. Take in Friday. Yeah. It's worth it. Give this a try, you guys. And use the baskets. Because you can just throw away the paper. And you don't really have to wash the baskets. You can throw them back in the cupboard. Save you some dishes. Yeah. We're going to air fry uh, some donuts. It only takes a minute, okay? take a regular especially well these donuts here from Costco uh, 
Put them in your air fryer. I'm going to put, I think, four. And this is the first time I've done the cinnamon rolls. So I, have, I haven't tried these yet. So we're going to try these together. And they only take a minute in the air fryer. And they change the whole meaning of a, a donut. Ugh. I've never tried the cinnamon run rolls in here. I'm going to try three of those. If Nate catches me <laughs> in his cinnamon rolls, he's going to freak. <laughs> That's okay. He's got to share. Okay, we'll see you in a minute when they come out of the air fryer. Okay, guys, they're done. Now, I know the donuts are good. You gotta have tongs to take them out because they are hot. Actually, I should do them. I might do them another minute. Yeah. I'm gonna do them another minute and see. I like them crispy. You like them crispy? Okay, they're ready. Yeah, that looks better. More crispier. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to try one out of the air fryer. Give it a minute to cool off. Fun. <laughs> okay, there's the cinnamon rolls. Ooh, they're falling apart. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try a cinnamon roll and I'll get Bruce to try the donut. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. It smells like a bakery in here. Mmm. <laughs> It looks just like those nuns buns my mom used to make. Mm-hmm. Mm. They are good, but not as good as the donuts. <laughs> if you not if you have not tried these donuts from Costco you have to try them. Mm. That is a scream. Mm -hmm. You could drizzle chocolate on top or caramel. But I just like the sugar. Mm. Those are a, a 20 out of 10. These are okay. I wouldn't do them again. But the donuts rock. Let me get Bruce. Good, good, good. <laughs> you didn't mm -hmm. even let me get the camera on. <laughs> no, try the donut. And tell me which one you like better. I like the donut better. <laughs> I like getting my Florida. I know. It only takes a second. <laughs> Saturday's dinner. This is beans from our garden. Woohoo! And I'm, I took a uh, shepherd's pie that I had left over out of the freezer. This will be Saturday's dinner. 
I've got garlic butter, salt, pepper, and I'm putting some Parmesan in there. Grown by Bruce. That, my friends, is shepherd's pie. And I call them Italian beans because we used to buy them off the Italian lady when we before we grew them. So I'm not sure what kind of beans they're called, but I know they're good. Saturday night's dinner on this cold, cold night.